Today we're going to be sowing pepper seeds. Now peppers take a long time to produce a good harvest and I'm going to show you how to make the most of that growing season. Coming up. Last year I grew two different types of peppers. I grew bell peppers, orange and red, and I grew shishito peppers, all of which I love. But this year I'm expanding my options a bit. Just like last year, I'm gonna be growing orange and red bell peppers and shishitos. Uh, in addition to that, I'm gonna be growing a couple from uh, Cali Kim. I'm gonna be growing Hungarian yellow hot wax pepper and California wonder pepper, which is a bell pepper. Um, and then I'm gonna be growing lipstick pepper, which I got from Baker Creek. The one I'm most excited about is the habanada from Baker Creek looks like that. The world's first heatless habanero. And instead of the heat, you get a blast of citrusy tropical flavors right up my alley. Because I'm not one of those people who, you know, is out for the hottest, the newest hottest pepper. You know, it, it's just not worth it to me. I like the flavor of peppers, but I'm not into, you know, burning my mouth off and having that stay for however long it takes to get rid of it. So I'm excited about the habanada pepper. Now a bit about timing. Peppers have a long growing season. And so, especially in Northern climate, you wanna start your peppers by seed at least eight weeks before your last frost date. And you can Google that to find out when it is in your area. That's an important date to know anyway. Now, if we are past that in your area, sow the seeds ASAP or go to your garden center and get pre-started transplants. There's nothing wrong with those. They will grow just fine. Um, the only negative uh, from transplants is that you just don't get the wide variety of seed choices or pepper choices that you would with seeds. Now, there are a couple of ways to start your peppers, and I'm gonna go through both ways. Um, not just because I wanna show you how to do both ways, I do, but I also wanna see which way will work best for me and hopefully for you. First, I'm gonna show you the traditional way, and then I'm gonna show you a way that's a bit unorthodox, and uh, but actually is easier. And it's the way that most like serious pepper growers swear by. Now, no matter which way you choose to do it, they both start the same way. And that is with a mixture, a 50-50 mixture of hydrogen peroxide and water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give the seeds a bath, let them soak in that mixture for about five minutes. And what that does is not only does it kill any uh, bacteria or germs, but it's also going to help break the seed coating or soften the seed coating to speed germination. And it's scientifically, scientifically proven to get your seeds off to a more healthy start. So we're gonna take the seeds, and this one I'm just gonna start with the, the golden uh, coral bell pepper. And I'm just gonna let those soak for five minutes. All right, now they've soaked for five minutes. Now we come to the fork in the road and I'm gonna give you the map so you can choose which way you wanna go. The road to the left is the traditional way. We're gonna start them in little seed trays. Now, if you're sowing super hot peppers like a Carolina Reaper or ghost pepper, you may want to wear gloves. And if you're sowing those, I don't get you, but I respect you. The first way, the traditional way of doing this is gonna be in a seed tray with seed compost. And I uh, just wanna use seed compost because it's nice and sterile, especially for peppers. They're temperamental and we wanna make sure we get these off to the strongest start possible. We're putting two seeds per cell for insurance in case one doesn't germinate. And we're gonna cover with about a, a quarter of an inch of perlite or vermiculite. That's going to hold the seeds in place and give them some cover, but because it's a lighter substance and retains less moisture than compost, it's going to lower the rate of damping off. You know, when your seeds come up, look great, and then all of a sudden they keel over and die, that's damping off. Now, remember to label your seeds. I always forget, and so my wife thought she'd do me a favor, and she ordered some fancy, you know, seed, uh, plant tags online. Now, you know, when you order something online and they'll put like a little dime or quarter or something to kind of compare and let you see kind of what size something is. 
Yeah, this didn't have that. So when she thought she was ordering these, what we got in the mail were these. Just thought I'd share, it's pretty funny. Place the tray in a container of water so we don't disturb the seeds. The water will wick from the bottom up. The final step is to place your trays on top of a heated grow mat. Um, these are gonna raise the ambient temperature just above the, uh, the surface here to between 75 and 80 degrees. And peppers really like that bottom heat. It's gonna get them to germinate a lot faster. Now, if you're starting your seeds indoors, you're definitely gonna need a grow light. And you want that grow light to maintain a distance of about four inches above the leaves at any given time. So as those plants grow, you're gonna need to raise the grow light along with it. Once the seeds are up, the first set of leaves they have that kind of push through the surface of the soil, those are their seed leaves. Those are not real leaves. The second set that grow are gonna be the real leaves. And when you see those, that's at a point then when you can start to fertilize a little bit. And you're gonna to wanna to use an organic fertilizer, liquid, half strength. Okay, now it's time for the second method, the road to the right, if you remember the analogy from before. We're still gonna soak the seeds for five minutes, but that's the only similarity here. Like I said before, peppers need heat to germinate. And so instead of having the heat have to travel from the heat mat, because we still are gonna use that, all the way through the compost to the seeds, let's just bring the seeds to the heat mat or the heat source. This is going to involve sprouting them in a damp paper towel. Still gonna to start out the same way. We're gonna soak the uh, seeds for five minutes in the 50-50 water hydrogen peroxide mix. We're also gonna to wanna to take some water and dampen a paper towel. You want it to be wrung out. You don't want it to be super wet, just, just moist, just damp. Okay, it's been five minutes, the seeds have soaked, and we're gonna place them on the paper towel. And you just wanna sprinkle them around half the paper towel, giving each of them kind of their own space. And then fold the paper towel in half, fold it in half again, and slip it in the bag. We're gonna zip it closed, leaving a little bit of an air bubble so it's kind of blown up a little bit like a balloon. You don't want it smushed down flat. And these don't need to be in the light. They don't need to be in the dark, but anywhere inside your house is fine. On top of the heat mat. And those should sprout within a week or two. If they are a super hot pepper, those can sometimes take a month and maybe two. So you're going to have to be patient with those. But again, I'm not growing those, so I don't have to worry about it. Now, after a week, you are going to want to check on the seeds daily. Uh, just to make sure that as soon as they pop open and you'll see a little break in the seed and you'll see that first little root starting to stick out. That's the point where then you're going to plant them in the seed tray, just like we did the seeds uh, and then cover them over. And then they're going to, they've already germinated. Now they're going to come up and be strong, healthy plants. So check on those every day so you can grab them as soon as they're ready to go. And then as soon as they have their first uh, real set of leaves, going to fertilize the same way. Now there's a lot more to growing peppers and I'll do a whole other video on that once these guys are sprouted uh, and grown a little bit and ready to plant out into the garden. So make sure you're subscribed, hit the bell icon so you can get a notification of when that video comes out. And if you learn something or if you have uh, some tips to share, maybe you've grown peppers successfully, go ahead and leave a comment down below for everyone to see. We would love that. And I will see you guys on the next video.